Hey guys, I want to talk real quick about this video I saw for Tiny Little Games where he talked about Marvel Strike Wars and a lot of things he didn't like about it, and I wanted to kind of talk about some of the points he brought up for the game. Number one, he mentions there's no unique aspects, and it's very similar to other turn-based games, and to that I'd say, yes, it's very similar to other turn-based games, but that's kind of the thing I like about it. As someone who sees Star Wars Galaxy appears as a game is too far in development, this is the best normal turn-based strategy game using the tried and true formula, and it features some of my favorite characters, that's why I enjoy it, and I, and I personally don't see it not having any unique aspects as a con. He talks about there's a grind fest with no interesting modes and it's just the same thing again and again. I think this stems from the problem he hasn't gone that far into the game. If you look at his characters he's using base characters, tutorial characters, characters you get really early on, or he doesn't seem to be in a mission that far from chapter one or two. So nothing at that point is going to be that interesting, but once you get later on in the game I find a lot of the missions to be really engaging and I find the arena mode to be a lot of fun to run. He says everything seems lazy and like a ripoff, and I completely don't understand where this is coming from. There's like six modes. The campaign mode has like four separate campaigns, a hero mode, a villain mode, an everybody mode, a cosmic mode. They have a mystic mode coming. They have animated stage backgrounds. They have like 60 plus characters, all with unique skills. Some skills have multiple animations, like Hulk will just punch people for one of the skills, but if they're at low health and the punch would kill them, he'll have a different animation where he grabs them, he knocks them up in the air, he grabs them, slams them on the ground, and then throws them off to the side. He also brings up the text boxes, how those seem lazy, but that's just kind of how mobile games do things. There's very few mobile games with voice acting. I don't know if he was expecting voice acting to come out of Marvel Strike Force, but I wasn't expecting voice acting. The game just doesn't seem lazy to me, and in fact, I feel like Fox Next Games is trying to do a lot of things to keep the game interesting. He also mentions how the graphics are the saving grace of the game, and I'd agree with him there. That's what's kept me interested. It's probably what's going to keep a lot of people interested, so nothing to bring against that point. Another big thing he brings against this game is the random character unlocks, but again, I feel like this comes from being an early player in the game to give you a lot of premium orbs, and premium orbs are random, but that's not how farming actually works in this game. Usually you're farming alliance raids, arena, battlegrounds, and campaign. All those have set characters you're farming from them. Now, of course, for story campaign, the nodes, uh, there's a random chance of getting the shards, but you know whose shards you're farming. It's not that random, and in fact, I don't find the grind to be that painful in Marvel Strike Force as compared to a lot of other games, <laughs> DC Legends. At the end of the day, I think he was expecting more from the game. As someone who probably plays a lot of Android games, I think he kind of is used to this formula and he's trying to look for something fresh, but I don't feel it's a fair way to judge the game, especially with how many subscribers he has. He could potentially steer away new players to Marvel Strike Force, and that's kind of why I made this video. If you saw that and you're like, man, Marvel Strike Force looks like it sucks, I want you guys to know I really enjoy Marvel Strike Force. I think it's a fun game. I think it's only going to go up from where it is. I don't find it to be that bad of a game. I don't find the grind to be painful. I don't personally find the gameplay to be as boring as he says it is, but again, that just might be a difference and taste he might not like turn-based games then it's completely fine but I find that he uses a lot of things that are common to the mobile game industry like energy systems auto playing grinding uh, he uses that against Marvel Strike Force but that's just kind of how the mobile game industry is again if it was a perfect world we wouldn't have that kind of stuff but that's how free-to-play games make their money so it's just kind of one of those things we deal with but I just want to say, Tiny Little Games, I really enjoy your stuff. If you guys aren't subscribed to Tiny Little Games, I highly advise you check them out. And Tiny Little Games, if you're interested in doing a second look at this game to try and figure out a little more about it, try to see how characters work together, how the different modes work, feel free to hit me up. I'll tell you all I know about this game. We can work on a second look together. But with all that said, I'm just a 16-year-old playing a turn-based mobile game with Marvel characters in it. What do I know? Wait a second, he ripped on DC Unchained? Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 Rip my voice.